in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the fully updated rosters for Madden 22. You're going to get all of the free agent signings. You're going to get all of the trades. You're going to have the players who retired. And yes, you're even going to get the entire new rookie class that's going to be starting this NFL season. I'm going to show you how to get all of that updated in Madden 22. And you can use these for your offline modes and even in some of the online modes. But really quickly, before we get into that, if you want to stay up to date on all of the latest Madden news, especially the Madden 23 news that's going to be dropping pretty much any day now for the next few months, and also the new NFL 2K game news that should be dropping soon. That game is supposed to be dropping finally at the end of this year. We should be learning a lot about that soon as well. If you want to be updated on both of those games, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of those important uploads when they go live. You'll always be up to date on the news and everything that's coming with those games now let's get into updating these rosters you have to pay attention along the way because there's a few key things you're going to have to do to ensure that you don't run in to any problems downloading this roster because with ea sometimes you got to find workarounds for things because the community files tend to be a pain to deal with so the first thing you always want to do is you want to completely close out of your game because if you've been leaving your game running you can often run into issues where you try to download the community file and it just will give you an error and it won't download so what you want to do is you want to pull up your main menu on your xbox or your playstation you want to go to your madden 22 game and you want to pull up the little settings menu and you want to go to the quit button this is going to fully close out of the game and then you want to reload it brand new if you do this you have much less of a chance of running into any error when trying to download the files. If for some reason you don't know how to close the game out this way, you can also hard reset your system, which takes maybe like an extra minute to do, but this will just prevent you from getting those errors or those crashes when you try to download the file. Now, once your game is fully loaded back up, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to wanna scroll over all the way to the right-hand side. You wanna go to the NFL logo. It used to be this little gear icon, so some people might, you know, be confused, but it's actually the little NFL icon now and what you want to do is you want to scroll down to share and manage files you want to click on share and manage files there's going to be a few different things in here we're going to have to use so pay attention the first thing we're going to click on is the download community files tab so we're going to click on this and every year when I do this video people are surprised a lot of people for some reason still don't know this this exists and and it's really useful for a lot of different things if you didn't know you can see on the top we have a little menu here you can click the RB or the R1 button to scroll over you can see we have a draft class section which is very useful when you're playing franchise because if you scroll down here you can see that you can actually download the draft classes for your franchise mode so you can see there's the 2022 NFL draft which just happened but some people right here you can see you have a 2023 draft class already to go so if you want to have these ready to load in each season of your franchise this is a good thing to use uh, they even got Hall of Famer draft like you know just different things that people put together so it's very useful now if we click over again we're gonna have the roster tab and this is where we want to find our roster now you have to be careful what you download because there's a ton of different type of rosters so usually the roster you're looking for is going to say something like this first one right here updated 22 or you can see there's another one right here that says tfg real 22 and what you're going to want to do is you want to look all the way in the right hand corner it'll tell you what is in this file typically so you can see here it says my 2022 offseason roster is now live free agency retirements trades and defensive scheme changes roster info found on twitter it also says nfl draft rounds one through four and more so maybe not every single rookie from the later rounds but he's He's probably going to keep updating this so you can go back and re-download it later and there may be some more rookies uh usually you want to look and see usually the files that have a lot of downloads and have a lot of likes are usually going to be the one that you want to download so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the updated 22 we're going to click download file you don't want to press anything you want to wait it's going to take a few seconds you want to not back out because it's going to mess up the download if you do that so wait for a few seconds it's going to take a little bit to load it's going to say download complete 
complete. It's going to back you out. You're going to want to wait a few more seconds here to make sure everything properly loads. Then you want to back out. Now, once you back out, this step is important. You need to scroll over to load and delete files because just because you downloaded the file doesn't mean that it's actually active. Your regular Madden profile roster, the official one is going to be active. So now you can see here, we're going to scroll over to roster. Here are my different rosters that I have. Now we just downloaded the updated 22. So we're going to click on that and we are going to click load file. We're going to click yes. It's going to take a quick second. We're going to load it. Now we want to back out and we want to make sure because sometimes when you download a file like this, sometimes the roster isn't good. Sometimes it doesn't load properly. These things happen with Madden. So we're going to go back over to the NFL Shield logo and we're going to click on edit rosters because now we want to click on it. We're going to click manage players. We want to make sure that everything is accurate. We want to scroll through most of the teams and make sure things are to the liking. We want to make sure the free agents are there, the trades, and at least the first, you know, two to three rounds have those guys there because those are the most important rookies. So we can see here right off the bat with the Saints, they have Tyron Matthew added, which is great. If we scroll over to the receivers, we can see they just picked up Jarvis Landry. So you can see that this is a very up-to-date roster because Jarvis just signed like, what, a couple days ago. We can see that we have Chris Olave, which was the first round draft pick. If we scroll over, let's see, to like the safeties and uh, make sure the other guys are here. We can see we got Marcus May, who was a a free agent signing uh we have alante taylor which i think was our second or third round draft pick so you can see everything kind of checks out there now we're going to scroll over let's go to the steelers really quickly and we can see okay they've got kenny pickett here that looks good now keep in mind you know if you don't like the ratings right if you think it's rated too low at this point you can go in and tweak it yourself maybe you want to bump kenny pickett up to a 78 or something like that maybe you want to bump his speed up one maybe you want to change his number because all of the rookies haven't declared their numbers yet so maybe you want to change the number you know you can do whatever you want it's your file now uh let's go over to some of the other popular teams let's look at the jets they got a lot of new players we can see running back they got their second round pick Brees hall if we go to receivers we can see they have garrett wilson here if we scroll over let's look at the defensive ends they've got jermaine johnson another pick that they had cornerbacks we can see they've got sauce gardner they've got dj reed who was a free agent pickup so you know like i said go through a few teams make sure everything checks out the lions let's see what they have here the lions are going to have we can see the Dolphins have Tyree Kill. They have Teron Armstead now. If we go to the Eagles, we can see they definitely made some changes at wide receiver. They've got A.J. Brown. We can see some of their draft picks. Let's see, we've got Jordan Davis at defensive tackle. If we go to middle linebacker, they've got N'Kobe Dean. So, and for whatever reason, if you scroll through and maybe you don't like the roster, I think this one looks pretty good to me. Uh, even the player pitchers, I think, look about as accurate as they can be for being, you know, generic faces. I, I think this guy did a pretty good job but let's say you don't like the ratings you think they're too low or you think they're too high you can go download another roster and see which one you like better there's going to be a few of them up there now to use these rosters you can use them offline and play now or for franchise which is what most people are probably going to use them for you don't need to buy the new game if you want updated rosters if you don't think they're putting enough new features in the new game and you don't want to spend your money on it just download the rosters this way and you can just carry on with madden 22 with next year's rosters now for online the only way you can use them online is for online franchises so if you and your buddies are not going to get the next game but you want the new rosters you can use this for online franchise as well so no need to buy the new game if you don't want to now if you want to find out more about madden 23 we got some leaked news not that long ago check out this video right here on the screen and it'll tell you everything we know so far about the next game